Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany, how are you? We do yarn related videos, fiber related videos, yarn podcasts, yarn hauls, vlogs, anything on this channel. And today, you guys know this is my little yarn corner that I have in the corner of the internet that is mine. Today we will be talking about just like finished pieces, whips that I've been working on, as well as just things that I've bought in yarn related or not, and things that I've been thinking about making or not making. So this is gonna be a long one. Grab yourself a cup of tea or some water to keep you hydrated and knit along to this video because I know a lot of people do do that because we do go over an hour sometimes. So um, hopefully you guys can just relax and chill with me today. Currently I'm wearing, this is the Cumulus Top by Petite Knit as always. I tied them into a knot here on the straps because I was too lazy to like undo it and I guess remove some of the things. So I think it gives it like a cute little, I don't know, cute like little look. Um, as well, I'm also wearing, this is the typical headband that I made. Um, it's one of the Patreon monthly downloads. If you guys know, I have a Patreon. Um, every month we have a free download so that this is one of them. It's just this really cute headband <laughs> that I'd like to do. Like I could technically do it like under the ears, which is also a cute look, but I think over the ears just gives it like a, I don't know, like a cute little, I'm going to the ski slope so my ears are going to be warm, but I'm going to be like looking cute going down the hill type moment. So um, that's what I strive to look like I guess. Um, this is knit in uh, one strand fingering weight of my boo-boo cha, cha as well as one strand mohair so I don't know if you can see that. I feel like I'm not showing it very well um, but yeah it'll hopefully be out in the shop soon so if you guys just wait a couple days or just wait on me because I know I'm really slow with coming out with like lots of things but it is quite tedious so I hope you can be patient with me. So I'm just gonna wear this for the whole time and look super adorable, but my head is so hot, but I don't care. So, beautiful. Um, I guess that's finished piece number one. I do think it's a basic. I think it'd be really nice if I made a black one. It's also really good for like scrap yarn. So like I literally had 20 grams. So if you have like a mini skein or something, you could literally just knit it with that and like a mohair. And I think it's a good de-stasher or scrap buster. I'm so sorry, I don't know <laughs> any of those guys' names, but that is what I did. Um, next, this is quite a wild card. I wouldn't say this is fully finished, but I would say it's probably one of the pieces that are the most finished out of everything this month. Um, but it is cardigan number eight. So as you can see, I have one pocket. I technically, I have knit the second pocket I just, I made a mistake on the first pocket, so like one is kind of higher than the other, as you can see. So ugh, I have to undo that, and so I was kind of lazy and didn't want to put the other one. It's not a big deal at all, but I do have to weave in the ends, I have to block it. I honestly used up so much yarn for this guy. I think I knit the small too. It's like so huge, so baggy, and I haven't even blocked it yet. I think, because I really wanted to have like a really baggy cardigan because I have champagne cardigan and I made a small with that one and it's baggy but it's not like really big and baggy I would say it's like a little bit cropped and baggy so I wanted this to be big and baggy like I wanted to have like big armholes <sighs> big armholes and just be like really long so this is just how it looks like right now I haven't even added the buttons to it but there will be buttons yeah, I wish there was a better way to show it, but it is just in the most beautiful yarn. I love the Madara, the Mar it's Noro Madara, sorry. <laughs> it is so beautiful. I love it so much. I, again, as you know, obsessed with the double knit button band. I could make a billion more of these. I think I'm going to make, I think it's jacket number one. It's like very similar to sweater number eight. No. Sweater number 19. Dude, she needs, my favorite things to wear, girl, you need to stop making them numbers because I have no idea what it's called. Hopefully, I will put it up here. Um, but I want to make the cardigan version of that sweater. 
anyway, just to do another button man. <laughs> um, because it's so beautiful and I feel like I look really cute in these and they look really professional. Um, I did make some alterations, I think, with this guy. I think I made it maybe, I think I made it maybe five, maybe like five to seven centimeters longer for the body. And then for the arms, she has like a weird decrease where it's like, you decrease a little bit and then you decrease a, like a lot like I think it's like every fourth row no maybe like every eighth row and then it's like every fourth row I don't know why it threw me off but I just wanted it to be consistent so we just changed that and just made sure that that I was doing it I was decreasing it up until a point where the armhole was was uh small enough I guess to make it to like the sleeve portion I don't know if you want a bigger detailed description, just message me and I'll let you know. Um, but I'm really hot in this and I can't wear it now. So that is she. I've yet to block her. I've yet to block a lot of my big pieces just because it's kind of hot now and I'm hella lazy. Oh, I will say I also changed the, if you can see, this is the back. So in her version, you it's not like this seam. <laughs> I cannot show this better. Um, this is the back. I try to make it as seamless as possible. Hers, she kind of makes it so it's like a border here. And for some reason, I didn't want that. So that's just one thing we changed. So it just looks pretty seamless there. And it's huge and beautiful and I love it. Uh, I used one random strand of mohair from Color Mart and I have so much left over. It's like ridiculous. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, and then I can't tell if I have any other finished pieces, which is really sad, but I wish I had it here, girl. I wish I had it here. Um, I actually made the honey pillow. Um, I'll hopefully show some pictures because I did a weird photo shoot of it uh, when I finished it because I was really proud of it. Um, I thought the honey pillow was beautiful. I'm probably going to make another one. I made the 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter. Um, I made the backings myself. I'll show you an example. This is just how the backing look like. Um, I just bought some 10 ounce canvas and I just added a nice little, little zipper. And then I knit the honey uh, comb brioche stitch just like a square. I blocked it. If you guys saw my Instagram stories, I was having a little bit of difficulty because I was finessing the pattern and I, I think I went one needle size up because I don't know why, but the 2.5 is just so small. For me, I had to go up to a three. I had to stretch it to the gods to get it to fit the 40, but it worked and it looks cute and it's in uh, the apartment that me and my boyfriend are renting right now so it's just really cute there and I wanted it to be there as fast as possible I'm going to be making a billion more pillows as you can see this is another I've made like four or five of these guys just to make more pillows uh, so hopefully I can do that but I will say that pillow making is really testing my patience for some reason it's like it's like such a small square yet it probably takes me longer to make than like a top I don't know what it is about it but I think it's because like you're just knitting up like a square and there's nothing like changing and so it just feels really draining for no good reason I don't know uh, we'll see what happens uh, with that I'm currently knitting uh, the Marie pillow as well as I want to make the Technicolor pillow but just one color and just having two of those I think putting them on a bed would be so cute but oh my gosh like why am I putting myself through so much hurt I don't know um, if you guys saw petite knit she posted a monochrome version of the Marie pillow because she did it in like varying colors uh, like of stripes and she just had a basic one and I instantly was like yes that is what I needed um, an excuse to make another pillow and so it took me maybe like two days to find like a good swatch that I actually liked I was like finding I was like picking a bunch of like scrap or like like one skein yarns that I have that I could use um, to make the Marie pillow and I was just swatching like different colors left and right and I couldn't decide so Hopefully the one that I decided on is good enough. 
I wish I could show you. I think I had it on Instagram story, so maybe I'll put that up there. Um, but I also brought it to the apartment because I was like, you know what, maybe this will motivate me to knit it, being in here knowing that I gotta finish it. Uh, but that one I wanted to do in the 50 by 50 centimeters, so that's gonna be even longer, which is so worrisome. So yeah, that's been like my little, I guess like projects that I've been wanting to do for the apartment as well. Um, I want to be making like some wash towels and some dish towels, but those also take so long and I'm like, why do you take so long? I'm going to use them really often, right? So like I should be just buying like cheap ones at like Ikea or something, but no, I want to spend like 10 hours knitting like this random rectangle so I can wipe my dishes on it, you know? I need to get my priorities straight. Um, like I was watching um, Inga and she was making a wash towel or a dish towel as well and she did it in linen stitch and linen stitch like takes so long. <sighs> what we knitters do for a beautiful home. I don't know. Um, okay, so I think that is it for finished pieces. I know, not a lot. I have just been somewhere else i think it's it's really been the pillows that have been like halting my progress okay so i do have a lot of whips though i will say um this guy i was also having a problem with swatching i think i think my issue right now is just swatching swatching just takes forever just finding the right color combo to make the most beautiful thing i think i'm just really picky and i need everything to be really perfect and if I have to mix colors, it's so hard. Like mixing mohair as well is such an ordeal. Um, just finding the right combo is another is another job that I have to <laughs> put on my resume. I am finally working on cami number six because I said I was going to, and I'm going to do the things that I say. This is what I have so far. Yes, it kind of cr crunches up, but I also haven't really blocked it or I haven't put the straps together <laughs> but this is how it looks like i'll try to do a little bit of a closer up kind of so you can see the variation the texture the beauty um i had an issue with this i made the small turned it out that the small was too small so i went with the medium and i think the medium will be great i'll just like block it a little bit more um, I will be stopping this guy for a little bit because I'm waiting for my yarn to come. So I'm knitting this in Noro, I think it's Kumo or it's Tenant. I bought it a while ago. It just looks like this. It has this really interesting uh, like variegation to it. I think, I feel like I talked about this in a, another video. Um, but it, I just, I really like the marled effect of the cami six that people did, but couldn't really find a good marled like mixing two colors together so I just thought this with a, like a very similar color would look really nice so I'm mixing that with a drops flora in the color I think light gray and I think the color just comes out really nice I think I think as a set I will wear this very well and very happily um, it might be a little bit too warm to wear on a nice summer like a hot summer day but I don't really mind I think it'd be cute it's just like a little maybe like a little home set or like when I'm just like out and about during in like springtime but not like the really really hot weather and yeah so I've just been waiting for my yarn to come because we did uh, we made a wool warehouse purchase because I needed the yarn for this and so I ended up buying a couple of other things that's fine. I'm very, I'm very excited for that to come soon. But I didn't do like, usually I do like a bigger splurge. I just did a moderate splurge and we were very happy with myself. But yeah, I just think the color combo is really nice and I really like the gray effect and I support this a lot because the yarn, I mean Noro, treat myself to Noro and I think I have enough to make the short set as well. So I'll just have a cute matching set and be happy for the rest of my life. Um, I also wanted to say um, I'm using my little stitch marker. If you guys can see, I actually haven't said this, I think, in a YouTube video. But I actually made some stitch markers. Uh, they're adorable. I freaking love them. I will be for sure making more. It's on my site right now. Um, and I 
will be making more is the answer. I am also trying to do um, like mail shipping. So if you did want to get this, I could ship it via like just normal postage, I think, or like snail mail. I don't know how people call it. So you don't have to pay like crazy shipping uh, if you're from North America. Sorry, European boys and international folks. Um, so hopefully I can get that all set up and ready to go. I think I'm almost done. I think I need maybe like eight centimeters and then we're good to go and I can block you and wear you. I'm so excited. I'm like, I've been making a lot of crop or like a lot of springish tops, even though it's like August already. I don't really care. I can still wear it in September. We've been just trying to pump those out as fast as possible. Continuing on with theme, I guess I will continue with my cute little um, spring summer tops. I think, okay, what happened? So Pop Knits was having, like I think she was having like a 15% off sale for her pieces and I think I missed it and it, I was like devastated. So I ended up just like getting a couple because I was like, you know what? I wanted it, let's just do it. I'm not gonna wait any longer. I was creeping her tags on Instagram and I saw this girl make the Euphoria top in this bright red and I was like, hey, I have a bright red too I could totally make it with. I will say I think I'm gonna be doing yarn chicken so I might not even do this. I might end up not finishing this and I think that's gonna be the most devastating thing of my life. Um, so just like pray for me, <laughs> please. Um, it is, this is the euphoria, oh wow. Oh wow, this red comes up so nice on this camera. Holy schmoly. Um, so this is the, the beginnings, I guess, of the Euphoria top um, by Pop Knit. Uh, if you can see this, it's such, I really, I think I just fell in love with this stitch. I just wanted to learn how to make it. And by goodness, it takes up so much yarn, but like, it is so flipping cool. I just think this on me, oh, I would look real good. Um, this is actually uh, one of the Knit Crate yarns I talked about last week. If you, you can go check, I don't know any um, of the information. I don't even know where my other skein is. Yeah, I have no idea where this other skein is, but um, it'll be in the description or just check my the last podcast. But this is what I have left of the first skein. I only have one more left. I really don't want to have to buy another one. So I'm just praying to goodness gracious, like we can just make it like a little crop, like a really, really crop. We can just have it like, just barely even touching my <laughs> my rib cage. And I think it will be fine. I still have to do the armhole, so that might take a little bit. Um, but I just think this color is really cool. It's like, not it's tonal. Like I think you can see, like there's some places that are more dyed than others. Like up here, it's really light, but I think it gives it a really cool nice texture just everything I ended up buying her other tops oh gosh I don't remember any of the names I do have this one yarn that I think would look perfect with one of the tops that she made so it's just this yarn that I got it's from Color Mart um, it's just like this really nice ver variegated uh, cotton silk cotton silk and I wanted to make uh, one of the tanks I can't find my phone anywhere. Yeah, so it's the time after time top. I'll, again, post it here. I actually fell in love with the time after time tee, but I'm really scared because <laughs> it looks like quite an intimidating pattern. I will say that she hasn't come out with the English version for the time after time top, so I will have to, I will have to figure it out somehow. So we'll just cry a little cry because we don't understand danish but we bought it anyway so that's why i bought the time after time tea so i could like figure out the pattern and then hopefully i can make you know what my big brain will just have to figure it out final kind of piece that i just started working on it kind of is the piece that i think is getting me like back into knitting more rigorously like i think i was like chillaxing and now i'm like let's make more pieces i actually started uh the Cam soul number seven. I think I need to unfollow Angry DYB because everything she makes I like want to make immediately so that like needs to stop happening now. But she had the most beautiful cami number seven top. I thought it was so pretty. 
like honestly. And I had some yarn that I've been wanting to use up that has just been in my stash for a while. So I'm very happy to not be buying more yarn, but actually just using what's in my stash. So hopefully we can just do that. Um, this is, if you guys know, if you guys know, um, Cami number seven, I just think it is so cool. I haven't done like broken rib in such a long time. And I think this has just made me fall in love with broken rib a little bit more. I actually made a little mistake, but you can't tell. So I don't really care. Um, I'm making this small. I've just started the second portion of the front and then hopefully we can combine really soon and then cry during the body because that's usually the part that takes me the longest. But I think I just have so much joy just doing these like little quadrants and then connecting them together. It just takes like no time at all. So we really enjoy that. Um, I'm using, I think, Mandarin Petite. I have three skeins, so hopefully that will be enough to make a small. Uh, if not, it'll be another crop top or bralette, I guess, or we're stretching it to the gods. Um, and yeah, it's really pretty. And I really wanna make the Friday slipover. I think because of this guy, it's just so cute. I need to make more broken rib stuff. I don't know what else to say. It's really cute. I think the color is putty, but I really cannot verify that for you. So I'm very sorry. Ugh, last but not least, I'm almost done this. I'm so close to being done this guy. Um, but this is the typical sock. I made it in the Regia Tweed and, and I'm very in love with this. I'll have to block it because it's so wonky, but um, I am almost finished the first sock. I'll finish the second sock and then it'll be for the Patreons for this month. And I really enjoy it. I think it's really cute. I really loved this tweed. I support tweed <laughs> always and forever. Um, I wanna buy more tweed, but my bank account says no. So we'll have to not do that in the future. Um, but I really like the Rugia tweed. I actually, yeah, I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with this Rugia tweed, but it's so much yarn. It's so much yarn. I don't know if you guys know this as well, but Lane is actually coming out with a volume two for the 52 Weeks of Socks, and they're actually doing pattern submissions, and I thought it was so funny. We were talking about it on a stream, and I was like, maybe I should submit a pattern, but I'm very lazy, and I really don't want to. I thought it would have been really funny <laughs> to submit something. I don't, I don't think I'm like a master at socks yet. I think I really need to get and become a master in order to even be making socks. So maybe I can make more socks in the future, but... I am still trying to finish the 52 weeks of socks. Like, Lane, you can't, I'm gonna have to buy the second volume, which makes me kind of worried. But we'll just live with that. I'll just live with that and be happy. So I think that is, I think that's it for like my whips and finished pieces. I know, nothing too crazy. I've been pretty tame this month. I guess next off are purchases or the yarn that I've gotten recently. I will just quickly shout out, this isn't yarn, but it's spinning fiber. I made a purchase on Small Birds Workshop and I uh, immediately fell in love with the store. I feel like I'm gonna buy more. I checked, they're going to be here at Knit City in Vancouver. So I am going to be literally buying everything. I also should say I am going to Knit City in Vancouver. So if you guys are in Vancouver and like want to meet me, I will be there. I will be there on the Saturday, which I think is the 24th uh, during the morning period. So if you see me walking around with my mom, like definitely feel free to say hi because I would love to meet more of you guys and we can all die over the yarn together. Um, but Small Bird Fiber, they do a lot of spinning fibers and we fell in love instantly. I'm so sorry, but I don't remember the name of this guy, but this guy I fell in love with it is some sort of, I think it's like a Shetland sheep wool mixed with some, um, mixed with some silk, and I instantly fell in love with it. I have been, as you can see, I've been spinning it. I love spinning. I really do want to invest in this spinning machine, spinning wheel. Um, so maybe in the future, maybe in the future, I've been looking at a lot of. Um, uh, Facebook marketplace stuff, but they don't have the wheel I want. Um, but this is the, I guess the skein that I have currently, or the cake. I like to cake them and then I'll put them into hanks. It's just easier that way. I just like the look of them in hanks. Um, but it's really pretty. I would love to mix this with like, I have no idea. 
maybe the sweater like I would love to get more of this guy um, hopefully they'll have it if not I'll probably just order it online um, maybe buy like an extra two of these and make it or mix it with the sweater I have been loving mixing yarns like I think mixing like two fingering weights with a mohair is just so fun and it just creates like the most beautiful I don't know texture to it um, and then the second one I got because I didn't want to go crazy was this other they're both 100 grams this is 25% South Down 25% Suffolk 12.5 alpaca 12.5 silk 12.5% pineapple and the pineapple is what got me I like needed this when I saw the word pineapple it's just this cute purple I don't even know lilac I don't have anything like this at all. I just thought it was so beautiful, so fun. I need to start dyeing up, um, like, what is this, like robing or like, hands with <laughs> like spinning fibers. I just need to buy up these and dye them and then spin them. And then ugh, my dream, as I will continue saying, is to sell these guys because they're just so beautiful in every sense of the word. Um, and I really like the company because they're, I think, ca Canadian based. So all of the wool that they get is all from Canada and we love to support my babes in Can Canada. <laughs> uh, my babes in Canada. So uh, we like this a lot. I thought I would just mention it for my spinning fiber babes. Why do I call, uh, why do I keep calling everyone babes? I don't know. Um, but I will be buying more fibers in the future. Okay, next I will just quickly talk about my newest Knit Crate uh, box that I got. Um, I was I was literally shocked when I got this. Um, this is Silhouette Vitalana. It, I got it in the color Evening Light. It's 50% superwash merino wool, 50% tensile uh, fingering weight. So usually in their normal... Um, packages they don't usually or like the normal knit subscription they don't give fingering weight yarn they usually do that for the sock collection so I thought it was really cool that I got this I got two skeins of it which is so much this is essentially 200 grams of fingering weight yarn I could almost make a sweater I could literally almost make a sweater with this um so I have no idea what I'm gonna make with this I would it's such a cool color Again, I think it would low-key look amazing in my wardrobe. <laughs> um, just like this cool teal. Again, I need to get out of my comfort zone and wear more colors. Like, that's why I wanted to do the red. I am. I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying to be a little bit colorful. And it's just a really beautiful yarn. I love how, how tiny. I love a good fingering white yarn, you guys know. Um, and I just think this with like a mohair would be gorgeous. Let me know, let me know. I don't know what to make with it, it's so beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Um, again, I have a link in the description. I think I think the link is bliss20. You can get 20% off your purchase or it's a different promo code. I'll let you guys know in the description as always. Um, but I do get a little commission from it, uh, but I do freaking love this. It's so beautiful and the hanks are beautiful, stop. Um, and it actually came with like this, <laughs> it actually came with this um, little drawstring bag, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, if you guys didn't see, I did a yarn around the world series that I'm starting. Um, I did it in Kelowna, and if you guys didn't see, I thought I would just talk about the yarns in this video, because I feel like some people probably just love the yarn corner so much that that's the only thing they watch on my channel. So I just, I just think it'd be good to let you guys know what I got there in this video and in that video just for completeness sake. Um, I actually didn't do that for my San Francisco uh, yarn, so that will be exclusively in the San Francisco video, but I will continue doing this in the future. Thank you. I don't have the green one with me, but this guy is just some discontinued colors of Sunascar and Sisu. I wanted to try Sisu. I wanted to uh, make some socks, but now I don't know. I think. Like I think them alone each would be wonderful sock colors, that's why I bought them. But now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, oh, they could be some sort of beautiful sweater, I don't know, I can't decide yet. So these will probably just stick with me in my little Sunascarn box for a little bit longer. And I don't really mind, I think, thinking about, I think I need to think about it a little more. I think these guys are also like, they're kind of fingering sport, but I would say they're leaning more towards sport. 
Um, in 50 grams, you only get 175 meters, so that's a little less than you would get for like an Arweta. And so I don't know if I can really make a single sock set with this. So I don't know how much yarn chicken I'm really willing to play with them. We will see, we will see. But those are what I got from there. And then I did buy just some really basic little guy stuff. Uh, and when I mean little, I mean very expensive, very luxe yarns. Um, I ended up buying some Isager yarn from Art of Yarn, um, just cause this was the first time that I saw Isager in public and <laughs> I could not resist. To tell you I don't know what I'm gonna be making with this but I think it would only be right if I made something like my own pattern with these pieces so this is just alpaca one I got it in sky it is just this beautiful beautiful I don't know like a light maroon that has like blues and greens and just like the most beautiful colors you've ever seen in your entire life and then I got Highland wool uh, it is also in sky, but it is in this blue. I was very much uh, debating between this one and there was like a kind of like a greeny beige that I was really into. So maybe in the future I can buy that one. But you know, it's fine. I'll just have one offs of Isager for ever and just make cute little things with them. I think for some reason I really want to start making pieces with just like one skein, two skeins, maybe not sweaters that will cost me a billion dollars um with some of the more expensive yarns that i buy so hopefully i can come up with more pieces to make um and then my beautiful boy we got we got the silk mohair um it is in the color 41 i just thought it would be a cute little mix it's beautiful it's everything this kind of this this skein alone made me want to do like a yarn or like a mohair comparison video um and so i actually did like literally if you guys were here at the stream i i literally wrote down like all the mohairs that i would need to buy and like the prices of them and it is so much money <laughs> i didn't really realize how much mohair was until i wrote all of them down um, but I have to do it for you guys, so hopefully you can wait on that. I probably won't be buying all the mohair all at once because I think it'll hurt me a little bit too much. But I think it'd be fun to do a little comparison video, see which mohairs I like the most. And if I really even am super picky, I feel like I'm not even that picky with mohair. Uh, but I will say this guy is the fluffiest thing I've ever touched in my entire life. So maybe I am. Maybe I am a mohair snob. Maybe I, uh, maybe I am picky. But that video is hella, hella niche. Like, you have to be so crazy to want to know the different types of mohairs and um, how I rank them. Uh, and then finally, I got uh, Retro Retrosaria, which is a Portuguese yarn. It is, I got it in the modem. It's just this really nice navy color. I just thought it was beautiful. I think I don't even want to make socks with these. I just want to make a cute little slip over and look absolutely beautiful. So who knows? Who knows what I'll do with this guy? I'm sitting on it. So let me sit on it. Um, but it is 100% uh, wool and apparently it is spun in it. Someone said on the stream, I, I, I'm not trying to relay false information, but someone said on the stream that apparently it's spun in a way that it's actually a very good sock yarn. So this is sock yarn and it's 100% wool. Usually you want to get ones that have mohair or no, I'm thinking about mohair still, um, that have nylon in it. So it will keep its uh, shape and not like break on you because no one wants that for socks. So I wanted to try it out, but honestly, it's just so beautiful. I just need to have it for myself. Okay, I just wanted to quickly say thank you to Alexandra. Um, if you guys know her as Alexandra Garn, she actually sent me the sweetest thing ever. Like it was the sweetest message. She really did not have to send me anything. I'm going to send her something because she's the absolute sweetest. Um, she sent me one Sunday, a <laughs> first Sunday scarn, and an Issager mohair, and I thought it was the sweetest thing. She she sent it to me because she knew that I've been like, on I've been like dying to get myself some Issager mohair just to try because I've heard just such great things about it, and I couldn't get myself to do it because it is about like again like twenty dollars, 
and so she got one for me to let me try feel it to test i will be making the most glorious thing with this and um i just wanted to th say thank you so much because it was the sweetest gift um and it's just the nicest mohair it is color 3s um and it's just like this nice dark gray um honestly i have some leftover mohair i have like an extra gray so oh it does it is it the same honestly it's pretty it's pretty similar i might just make the oslo hat if i have enough mohair if not we'll cry and i'll just have to buy another one of these but am i complaining not at all i was also sent some really beautiful yarn um from one of my friends her name's amanda uh we've been messaging back and forth um, but she just started a new yarn company. It's called Lavender Fiber Co. Um, and she sent me oh, so many of her colorways. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, girl. You don't understand. I'm so excited to try these ones out. Um, and I'll show you all of them. They came in this, <laughs> this bag. And it came with the best smelling lavender pouch I have ever smelled. It is so vibrant, dude. I need to, like, get me on this level. Um, but I'm just going to keep this in this room and it's going to make this place smell wonderful. Um, but I'll show you each of the colorways. Um, they're so beautiful. They just look like this. This is handbook. It is a, all of them. She gave me a luxury cashmere sock. I feel so blessed. <laughs> um, it's 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, four ply, fingering weight, beautifulness. Um, this is her first colorway. Sorry, I feel like I need to take this out because you have to see just all of the colors. It is so fun, so pink and vibrant. I have no idea what we're gonna make with this, but it's just so fluffy and beautiful. It is so gorgeous. I am very excited to swatch this guy. Next one, oh my gosh, so beautiful. So this is Nuri. Again, I need to take out Oh, we got to take out Ew. because you have to see this colorway. Holy schmoly. Are you flipping kidding me? I'm obsessed. I've never been more obsessed in my entire life. I love a good pastel, if you guys know me. Um, but it's just like this really nice pink, green. There's some yellows, blues, just a really nice combination of colors. And I think just something beautifully gorgeous with this would be wonderful. Just reminds me of a unicorn and it's so soft i can't get over it um next color is in the color sachi Ooh, a little bit more like uh, i would say it's more like white base with more like speckled colors here and there you got the purples pinks yellows greens just your perfect basic wonderful moment i have no idea what i want to make with you but each of them smell like a little bit like lavender and it's so cute and fluffy and I'm so excited to try cashmere. I don't think I've ever knit anything with cashmere and it's gorgeous. Stop. And then finally, uh, finally we have lavender. Um, again, beautiful purple. It is so nice. Honestly, I should mix it with <laughs> my hand spun yarn, but it's just this really nice tonal. I think there's like hints of gray to it and I think it just looks perfect oh my gosh what am i gonna do with all my yarn i don't know <laughs> i need to find a better storing um place because if we're running out of room we're just i'm just gonna say that right now we're running out of rooms but so i just think it's beautiful and i oh god look at that purple it's so flipping beautiful and they're so fluffy so thank you so much definitely go check her out i'll put her in the description as always um but yeah super cute we love it okay this guy Okay, I'm leaving this for last. It is the most exciting portion of a yarn podcast I have ever done. I recently reached out to Speculatric or me or May. I, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but um, she said she would send me a boring box and I got so excited that I actually ended up buying one as well because I really wanted a set. If you know, I feel like you, maybe if you don't, I'll just let you know. Um, Speculatric is just a knitting kind of pattern designer uh, company and they did a I guess a second company called Boring Knit. I love all their pieces. Um, she actually did a 20% off her Speculatric, um, 
her website and I actually bought it a couple of patterns not gonna lie I bought a lot um, and I love boring knit I have so many patterns like I want to make all of the pants you don't understand um, I just need to get the yarn I've been weirdly having difficulty finding some DK um, cotton merino blends so I just received this in the mail and I am so excited to try these kits. I haven't really tried like a really nice kit like this before. So I actually got two. She sent me one and I bought one because we're going to support. But also I wanted a cute set. I ended up getting... Oh, stop. I'm just going to like take a moment. I'm just going to take a moment. It's so cute. It's a shut down sit knit. Of course I will. Um, so it comes, I will show you everything that it comes with. This is, uh, it comes with like these, I don't know why they come with so many of these, but I mean, they're fun. Honestly, they're fun. Um, it's just of their, their new collection. As you can see, they have like a bunch of just, what a boring piece of knit. Be the stay insider. Boring knit. Me. You don't have to say more. <laughs> um, but I got the boring short. Um, I'm very excited to knit this. It's super duper cute. I got it in the color brown. So this is their yarns. It's in collaboration with uh, Gapard, Japard Garn. And uh, excuse me, because I've never tried Japard or Gapard. I'm so sorry. Um, and I've always wanted to, and I'm so excited to try this out. Look at how cute this is. The packaging is everything. So simple. It's 50% wool, 50% cotton. It's organic. It is everything that I have wished for in my entire being of life um yeah it just comes with a bunch of just information um, um it also comes I think it will come with knitting needles if you want but I don't need them because we have so many it comes with an elastic band for your short waist and then it also comes <laughs> it comes with some cute little stickers you can't see that but you know it comes with a fabric needle comes with a cu the cutest little label and some I've, I, ne I need this dude not gonna lie these are kind of cord extra cords so you attach it or you poke it through your needle and you can um, put uh, your piece on it to like lay rest and then it comes with these really basic just stitch markers, which I think are adorable and super basic, and uh, I love it. It's so boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being like literally so extra. You don't understand how excited I am to knit this. Um, and then I just got a second one. It is the boring tee, of course. We're gonna make the boring tee in the boring short. Um, I didn't want to actually start like knitting any of this or doing anything until we did a yarn corner, so hopefully we can get on this like pronto um but yeah again just the same it just comes in this cute little box as well with all with all the all the beautiful little yarns i'm gonna be taking so many pictures on instagram you know it so i've never been so excited uh in my life she actually does some i think she does some mood sweater kits as well which i think would be really fun but again and I'm just really excited about this one. I'm gonna be making like the biker pant, the biker short. I'm gonna make those shorts. I'm gonna make the tee. I wanna make the long sleeve. They have a sweater. There's just so many nice basics and I'm so basic that I'm so excited about them. I have never been one to buy kits, but I just wanted to support and I think it's a cute little, it's just so cute and beautiful. They actually do have the patterns if you just wanna buy the patterns digitally on their website, um, but you can also get their kits and get little extra notions as well. I actually ended up getting the, I think I bought the Inga top from Spectilatric as well as they have a new top. It's like, uh, looks kind of crochet. I'll put it up here, I don't remember the name. And then I got the striped polo. Um, if you guys wanted to know, I just bought those because they were on sale and I thought it'd be interesting to just have and try out if I wanted to. Thank you again for sending me one and I am going to be knitting them and letting you guys know how much I love the yarn. Yeah, I wish they would just sell the yarn by themselves as well instead of like specifically just for the kit. Like I think I would buy just the yarn themselves just because I really like the color combos that they have. They have like this really nice green. Um, and they have this really cool yellow, which I thought was really interesting, um, and black, of course, 
versus black. So yeah, I think that's it. I hopefully, um, who knows? I've been talking forever and that is a-okay. I hope that this was interesting. I hope that this was fun to watch. Um, I think I did get quite carried away with all these yarns, but um, this yarn corner was fun. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys know you can catch me on Twitch, Instagram. I post here. Hopefully this will come out this week and I will be on track to posting once a week. I know we were a little bad before, we'll be, but we will be better. Um, I am on Patreon, as you guys know. I sell a bunch of my yarns and my patterns on my website. So just, again, everything in the description below. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.